Oh! It's the egg! Is that to be... Am I going to die? I'm going to kill you. You'll be fine! Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Ooh! Wee! Let's go! Uh, oh! I found the sun! Ah! Uh. Stop it! No! <laughs> Hello, hello, and hello a third time. Welcome to Amber's Minecraft Taskmaster. I am SpicyMan33, the one and only Taskmaster. That's right, I'm not British, or Norwegian, or Swedish, or Finnish, or Danish, or Portuguese, or Spanish, or Australian, or a New Zealander. I'm an American. Wait, what do you mean there was an American Taskmaster? Uh, uh, well, this show is unique as we have tasks uh, uh, no, no, they have that too. Uh, a prize task at the start and a live task at the end. Shit! Are you telling me <laughs> the only unique thing about this series is that we're a bunch of young adults playing Minecraft? Yes, yes I am. Here's five <laughs> people willing to put a permanent stain on their internet histories just to appease me. They are Cake. Meowdy Bear. Kyogre. Hey. Raven. Hi. Sky. Yippee. And Techno. Wabababo. And to my left, she once genuinely made a spreadsheet of every song that appeared in Taskmaster. <laughs> so making one of her own was the only logical next step. It's Amber. Yay, Whoa. Amber. Hi, Amber. How are, you, how are you doing today? Pretty good. I'd actually like to start by dispelling some rumors. A lot of people ask me if I actually live in the Taskmaster house. I actually do. And I actually have some photos to prove it. So this is me just after waking up. This is me in the living room looking at Spicy's portrait for 33 <laughs> minutes exactly as per the contract. And this is me in the attic sorting through books. Oh. Uh, <gasps> I think I need to talk to my realtor. We should, we should move on. Is that the end of the bit? It was just that you photoshopped a PNG <laughs> of a ghost onto one picture. Why would I Photoshop this? Why would I Photoshop a ghost? All right, uh, Amber, what's the what's the prize task for this episode? The prize task for today's episode is the most useful thing for the Amazon that you can buy off of Amazon. Whoever wins the prize task will get five sweet points and be on their way to winning the episode and going up to the celebration room where they can try and buy five things for the Amazon from Amazon. Are you proud of this one? Are you are you proud of this one? Stop making fun of the format. Get on with it. <laughs> no, I like it. Uh, then Kyogre, you're a frequent Amazon purchaser, I'm sure. Have you been to the Amazon? And if so, what would be the best thing to bring? Uh, I have not been to the Amazon, mm. but I am very considerate of the, Amazon, of the Amazon itself. And I think my prize task would like to would show that I'm very good at talking also. That's how you know I haven't been to the Amazon. They teach you how to speak there. <laughs> yeah? Would you like me to put the image on screen, Kyogre? Yes, do it. Okay. I'm nervous. This is what Kyogre brought in. <laughs> okay. Take a look at this sign here, okay? It's a very high quality sign. I did some research and I found that one of the main problems that the Amazon is currently facing is farmers taking up its land. It is shrinking. So I thought, what better way to help the Amazon than to get rid of the problem altogether? That being man. My plan is you buy these and you put them all around the Amazon. You just like all around the whole thing. And people will see the sign and they're like, oh shit. And that's, and they'll be like, damn, I guess I gotta go away now. And that's gonna be the farmers that we're gonna Take the Amazon land. Yeah, I'm glad to see we've started on the one pointer. <laughs> I disagree completely. All right, Raven, surely you can beat a sign. You're in the Amazon. That fucking sucks, man. It's, I don't know what's in the Amazon. I didn't do any research. But at the fair bit of them, I figured the best thing, you know, if you're going to survive out there, you need food. So I wanted to give something that to guarantee you would still enjoy your time or have more flavors when you're in the Amazon. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> a 150 pack of a bunch of snacks. It, it would make my experience in the Amazon pretty nice. 
And you know, the best part about this is a greeting card is included. I did that see you that. Can welcome, <laughs> you can welcome the farmers as they destroy the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Kate, let, let's, let's see what you've brought in here. Knowledge is power. Understanding how the Amazon works, it's a great head start. I couldn't really find a guide on how to survive the Amazon. So I got you the next best thing. How to survive in the age of the dinosaurs. Because if you can survive those things, I'm pretty sure you can survive in the Amazon. So there you go. I mean, what could be more scary than a dinosaur? I mean, I don't know anything about Dr. Steve Brusate, but I would trust my life in him. I think it's fair. It, not really, but <laughs> in, in the realm of in the realm of matching up against a whole bunch of snacks and and a, a sign, who knows? Might stand a yeah. chance. Uh, you know, Techno, you strike me as someone who's uh, experienced in the world. I'm sure you've you've got something perfect for the Amazon. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> Everyone else here, I've noticed, has taken a rather casual approach. I. Personally, were I to be just thrust into the middle of the Amazon, would like to make it out. So that's why I'd like to show you the item that I brought in. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now, yeah. this is a kitchen torch. Or in other words, really easy to carry around flamethrower. This thing goes up to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, no oh my problem. God. I feel like you don't really understand how fire works. <laughs> 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 I do have a couple of notes about this one too. It requires a propane, butane, or any map pro gas tank, which is not included in the purchase. <laughs> uh -uh. So you're telling me that Techno has brought an empty lighter? Uh oh. Essentially, yes. <laughs> I mean, maybe he can ask some of those friendly farmers for some propane. <laughs> I'm just saying, they have lots of propane. Sky, I'm yeah. already annoyed with this prize task. Please finish <laughs> us with something that oh. I can enjoy. We, we've all, we've gone on record this series. I, I very much, I, I've been sucking up to you a lot. I mean, I decided with the item I'm going to bring that I'm going to focus a bit more on the long term. What happens if by a miracle you do survive the Amazon? Why not bring something with you that might make the rest of your life a bit better? So uh, this is a Ooh. GoPro. Survival stories, uh, found footage films, these legends etched into history by the cameras they were recorded by. Think, think about it. You're the star, Spicy Man 33. You're in the jungle. You're famous. You're visage, you're visage everywhere. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I need to fan myself off. I'm getting a little... Whew. How much footage would you get out of two two batteries? Each battery can last 110 minutes un uninterrupted. So yeah, four but... hours of footage in your Amazon journey. There's no way there's Just... enough time on that thing for the whole journey. Well, what no, kind of journey is it? A walk it on doesn't... the edge? Okay, I I I think I'm ready to score this. <laughs> Uh, I mean, although you really did try to shake it up there, I am giving one point to Kyogre. It, <laughs> one point to Kyogre. Everyone else here is selfish. I mean, you could you could threaten someone with it, but Techno, your 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 empty gun is not going to get much out of there, so it'll be two points. Inexplicably, I'm giving three points to someone who brought in a book that has no relation whatsoever <laughs> to the Amazon. Then between these two, this is stupid. <laughs> I mean, it is. There's clearly a winner here. I mean, that's all I'm it's saying. It's the snacks. I think I have to go for glory, so I'm giving four to Raven, and of course, five points go to Sky. It's four to Raven. Sky wins the prize after five points. See, y'all are playing the wrong game. That's all I'm saying. You guys are playing the wrong game. All right, Amber. Uh, how are the scores looking for the full series right now? Techno is in the lead with 38. But Raven is only seven points behind, so it's still very much anyone's game. Oh, damn. Wow. All right. Uh, let's get us started with our first pre-recorded task of the episode. <gasps> God. Yes, let's indeed. For our first task, we're going down to the lab where something unexpected <laughs> is bound to happen. Hey, Kick, how's it going? Uh, it's going good. What are we cooking? Do I uh flip the lever? Couldn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> 
You should pull it. You should pull it. You got a task for me today, Amber? Yeah. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna flip this lever. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, I said... I... I... Eh. There you go. Did it. Make something genuinely surprising happen when this lever is flipped. Most surprising thing when. You may use creative mode. Amber will flip the lever in 20 minutes from now. Okay, I'll be back in 20 minutes. I'll do you proud, I promise. Something surprising. Quite a simple task. <laughs> they have 20 minutes to make something surprising happen when I flip the lever. Yeah, Good and... Cake. Good work, Dead now. <laughs> I'm sure uh, these five people, all well known for their proficiency in redstone, <laughs> that surely these attempts. Don't insult me! <laughs> will be great. I mean, I'm expecting, I'm expecting uh, at least three train wrecks. Okay, who are we seeing first? Okay, well, it must be time for a surprise party because we're starting with cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Okay, I'm gonna hit the lever now. I don't like that. <laughs> okay. You destroyed my house. Oh, I mean, there's a little bit over there. I didn't destroy all of it. You destroyed most of my house. Well, thank you, Cake. No problem. Hey, I mean, I let your animals out now. They're free. They're fine. They're, no, they're all good. There's no, there's no damage done to be like, cast or anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. Simple and effective. Yeah. <laughs> it tracks because I have to imagine that was the first idea you got, and then you just spent the twenty minutes filling the area with TNT. Oh, definitely. It was all I could think about. I saw <laughs> Lever. It was just like, how can I destroy this thing? But I will say, I did not find it very surprising. After I left the lab, I went up to the front bedroom of the house. And about 10 minutes into Cake's attempt, this happened. Oh, no. So, safe to say I heard that. I'm curious, did you spend your time repairing that afterwards, or...? Yes, oh, okay, so I partially repaired it. I blocked the window so that way Amber couldn't oh see it God. as she walked to the lab. Okay, uh, who, who's next? Okay, well next we have my favorite Pokémon, Blaziken. Wait, no, um, uh, it, no, never mind, it's Kyogre. Yeah! Yeah, okay. Nothing, nothing's going on in here. Okay, I can hear a lot of noises. Nothing's going on in here. Absolutely nothing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hit the level. Okay, you do that. <laughs> Whoa, it's my friend! Oh, boy! Oh. Oh, boy, oh, no. And Amber fell! <laughs> Amber, welcome to the jungle. It's nice in here. I figured you'd like a little surprising extra room in here. A lot of frogs. Yeah, frogs are cool. They're your friend. Yeah. Also, there is a nice little <laughs> other nice thing underneath the floor, doing some doing some stuff. Okay. Um. There's my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He likes to kill frogs. Oh, thank you, Kaga. You're welcome. I hope you were surprised by this absolutely great redstone contraption that I spent way too long doing stuff with. I think I was. You were, you were, you were. Enjoy okay. the frogs, I'm leaving now. I... Oh, I adore you pushing her into the hole. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, that was the only thing I remembered about this task when it came up. It was like, I had to push her in the hole. It was just a disaster than I remembered it being, honestly. Before anything, what was the thought process here? That's what I'm, because like with cake, okay, it's clear. But there's so many levels to 
arrive at the, the <laughs> unrelatedness of the things that you put together there. Well, I, that was intentional because I thought that would be more surprising. I figured if there was a strict theme, it would be like, you know, it's one note thing. And I mean, at the at the end, Kyogre forced you to be surprised. You did not have a choice. So... <laughs> it is a common theme for Kyogre to decide my emotions. I do do that very often. <laughs> and you love it. Okay, I guess I love it. Should we move on to someone who's not going to gaslight me? Yes, let, <laughs> let's see. Hopefully. <laughs> so before this next attempt, I thought I'd read a little bit of poetry. Uh -oh. Quoth the raven, Levermore. Uh-oh. Hello, raven. Hello. Um, you should, you should, you should find that lover. Yeah, um, huh. Yeah, I can see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, yay. Thank you, Amber. You're welcome. Uh... Look, look what I made for you. Oh. It's a little actual paradise. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, and then there's some up here, too. Oh. Are they cute? I want you to know I agonized over whether it was going to be this or killing you for like 10 of the 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. What? But I decided to do this. Well, thank you, Raven. Yeah, no problem. Um, You have fun down here. Okay. Hi. Hi. I see. <laughs> Personally, I think there was a distinct lack of frogs, but that was pretty good. <laughs> Raven, Raven, as someone who's known you for what it feels like uh, quite a few years now, I have never been more impressed than that redstone. <laughs> You didn't even need to push Amber awkwardly into a hole. I will admit that is definitely a plus. I left the lab thinking that she was going to kill me. <laughs> it is true. I returned to the lab still thinking that she was going to kill me. I hit the lever thinking I'm definitely about to die. I did not expect it to be a nice thing. Yay! <laughs> That's yeah, good. I real I think I really wanted to, but I was like, no, nah, that's what everyone's gonna do. That's what she thinks I'm gonna do. I should do something nice. I mean, I'm impressed, and that's only the third one. We've still got two other people here, and I'm sure they will be of equal, if not greater, caliber. We should certainly hope so. Let's see what sort of surprises Sky can conjure up. <laughs> oh, hey Amber. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. So I sort of have to hit this lever now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> How's it going? I don't know. <laughs> what? Honey. <laughs> you can let me go. Good luck. Okay, well, thank you, Sky. Yeah, bye. bye. It was nice. It was nice having you. Ugh. Well, I mean, she seemed shocked at Honey. least. Honey. Honey. I mean, Honey. you've never sounded more like a serial killer. We're <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that this time around. From the from the way she, she introduced herself, like, "Hi, Ember." Like, like a, like a, like a creepy twin from The Shining. Amber, how did, how did you feel? Because you seemed very nervous. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> very impressive, I would say. Right, well, one to go. Last up, we've got the only person sitting in Techno's chair. It's Techno. <laughs> Hello, Techno. Hi, good friend, Amber. That is the most harrowing thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> That's how you know good things are happening back here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the lever. Oh, weird thing. Okay, well, I feel like I have to go down. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, pretty familiar. Uh, uh, how? <laughs> okay. Get it? I do get it. Okay, well, thank you, Tender. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, no cool. problem. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna See, go that back up, up, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the best one, right? So that was so that was the best one. So right? immediate note about that one. Techno and I laugh for about two minutes after that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think Raven's going on two minutes right now. Yeah. I mean Techno, you you gotta be proud of that one. That oh, I was good. so proud of that one. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, two people had their surprises a little spoiled. Uh, Cake, I'm gonna have to give you one point because you, you did you did blow it up once already. Yeah. Two points to Kyogre. Still a, yeah. st still a great sh still a very fun showing, but it was spoiled a little bit. Raven, honestly, I, that was a five point effort, but I am gonna have to give you three because no, the other totally two, fair. Yeah. Uh, wowed me. And this time I think just the sheer execution of techno is <laughs> Uh, it needs to be it needs to be commended. So Sky gets a very impressive four points, but Techno gets. I think everybody can agree. Well <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no, that was there. incredible. Oh my god, <laughs> that <was> so <laughs> Techno gets five points and wins the task. Okay, so after the first two tasks of the episode, here are the current scores. Sky is in the lead with nine. No, not a great episode for Kyogre right now. I disagree. Kyra, I might have given you more points if you had a sign in that jungle telling me not to cut it down. <laughs> that's fair. That's honestly, that's fair. All right, Amber, uh, give me another task and make it have tubers. Okay, then, for our next task, uh -huh. we've got Hide and Seek with a starchy twist. Oh. Yes. Oh. Hey, Kick. Hello, Amber. What's going on? Ah, uh, not much. What's going on? Yeah. That's my song. Yo, what we cooking? Uh, fire. Oh, I can't. Uh, don't get, don't open that. Oh, okay. I, I, but there's it's a camp and there's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah. Can I open this there's one? A, there's also a <laughs> no. Oh God. Find the potato. The best potato or the. <laughs> The potato is in a chest. Ah, this is why you don't want to be opening chest. <laughs> Where did I say the word best? It's not there. Each time you open a chest that does not contain the potato, you must take its item, throw it into the campfire, and say, another day, another dollar, before opening your next chest. And say, it's the next one for sure, before opening your next chest. And say, can I have a hint before opening your next chest? And beatbox before opening your next chest? Throw in the campfire and say, oops, I dropped it before opening your next chest. Fast swings, time starts now. All right, at a game of fair play, I'll go ahead and do it for this one. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that I was already a mess before I even read the task. <laughs> so you've got a very incredible. large amount of reactions from the cast for this one. First of all, Kyogre added a, qu a quantifier. <laughs> well, I, don't know, I don't know what the hell happened. I really don't. <laughs> It seems like you you all were annoyed by this one. Is that correct? We had the faith. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't like my degree, dialogue maybe. being chosen for me. I like to say things hey. no one has ever said before. Who are we seeing hunting for a potato first? Well, first up, she's bound to accidentally drop some things in this task. It's... Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on, I've got a joke. It's Raven Clumsy. Jesus Christ, fastest wind my ass. Oops, oh my God. Fastest, oops, I dropped it. Okay. Any thoughts so far? Um, you're gonna be a bitch about where it's hiding, isn't it? How f <sighs> everything you need to know is in the task. Oh, okay. Well, here's two. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. What was in the chest, Raven? There was there was not a potato. It's, oh, there's a, oh, there's one right here. Oh, I want to open it so bad. I want to open it so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Oops, I dropped it. Okay, there was another one really close over here that I passed on, but I'm gonna go double check. Yep. Yeah. Rockhard. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh, this is. I should just go to the other side of the map, actually. I feel like there's no way it's. Oops, I dropped. Oh my god. This is when everyone laughs at me for not knowing how to swim in Minecraft. Oh, there we go. But it looks like what is actually genuinely like, directly farthest across from the campsite is this one. No, I thought it's I did. I saw bread and I thought it was a potato. Um, 
Double checking for any chest in the water, but no. Oops, I dropped it. Is there any more? Like, maybe there's one right by the campsite. Now I'm thinking, like, maybe it actually is really close to the campsite. Hidden somewhere. I get up on... Okay, I can. Ooh, ooh, this might be huge, actually, if I can get up here. Um, see, oh! Oh, again. I'm just gonna build up the dirt up to the chest I saw up here. What'd you get, Raven? I got a clue saying, look under where you started. Oops, I dropped it. <gasps> I got a potato. I've stopped the clock. Do you want a potato, though? Uh, sure. Oops, I dropped it. Oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the continuation of the bit. What a uh, fun adventure. I think I lost my mind during that one. I was impressed at the restraint of not opening other chests. I would have thought for sure that you would have, like, immediately broken that rule and just been stir-crazy. I liked the thought of going of going away from the campsite because I was thinking that you were... Obviously, it was not going to be in a chest that's literally <laughs> right next to it. So, Amber, a, a tricky one here, of course. Yes, if they had immediately decided to look under the lectern, they would have found the potato. Of course, no person in the right mind would actually think to do that. How did Raven do? Raven had a total time of six minutes and ten seconds. Oh, well, that's pretty I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It could be it could be pretty good or not very good. We have absolutely no way of knowing at yeah. this point. All right, uh, Amber, who's the next starch searcher? Well, next to search for a potato, it's the scavengers. Wait, I mean the SC Avengers. It's Sky and Cake. Oh man, it's the next one for sure. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I'll, I'll shoot. Oh, it's the next one for sure. It has to be the next one for sure. Uh, we're just gonna go back to this chest over here I saw. That is bread. Oh, darndest. Darndest me. It's the next one for sure. You're really enjoying this one. May I have a hint? No. Uh, oh man, bread. <laughs> oh, it does look delicious, but uh, the potato will be the next one for sure. Uh, uh, maybe if I climb up, I'll get a better view of where the potato is. Definitely on the treetops, it has to be. Aha! Secret chest over here. Perhaps the potato is in this chest. Right there. I'm looking at you it. I'm looking. Me. Wait. Okay, uh, that's great. I found a piece of paper that says, look under where you started. It'll be the next one for sure. May I have a hint? No. This is a good gimmick. I like this one. <gasps> what? Am I just- <gasps> I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't understand. What does it mean? Look under where I started. Oh, it's gonna be like under the task, isn't it? I'm so dumb. <gasps> or does it mean like start like over here? Like, you know, where the chest is. I found the potato. <sighs> it's the potato! We found the potato. You found the potato. We found the potato. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, I'll just get it out of the way. Do you two hate each other? Is this like a... <laughs> I wanted Cake to take credit for her accomplishments, and she really wanted to involve me for some reason. Well, we're a team, Amber. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to just bring this up out of the way immediately, uh, because I did notice that you said, may I have a hint, not can I, but I'm not going to punish being polite. You may have also noticed that both of them made the exact same mistake in looking where they started. It was very funny though. I was I was a little terrified. I thought they had just, at first I thought they were just completely dismissing the paper. I think they thought that look under where you started meant look under the place where you were before you walked up to the task. Yeah. That is what I thought, yeah. yeah. It felt like they were both pretty fast. They both pretty quickly decided they were gonna go up. I mean, Sky was confident in the chest that had the potato. Cake had a time of two minutes and seven seconds. Damn. Wow. Sky had a time of two minutes flat. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So Sky's in the lead so far, but we still have two more people to, to take on this task. And as we all know, potato hunting is a man sport. Could they have found the potato even faster than the last two? Oh, well, let's find out. It's Kyogre and Techno. Yeah. Oh, both of us. So potato's got to be in the weirdest spot, right? It's not going to be any of these easy to find ones. There's no way. I bet the chest is somewhere really, really awesome. What is this? All right, what's in this hut? What's in this hut? Shit. Look for the arrow. Okay, look for the arrow. I got to look for the arrow, but first. Another day, another dollar. 
What if it is in one of these chests and this is, oh my God. Okay, no, I gotta look for the arrow, but first. Uh, uh, throw a look for the arrow. Uh, uh, find the arrow. Uh, uh. Do you know what beatboxing is? Not really, actually. Wait, is beatboxing oh like my the, God. Like the, whatever that. Yeah, that's what beatboxing is. There's an arrow somewhere. Oh, mushroom. Hmm, that's not an arrow. I gotta look for the arrow. Look under where you started. Okay. I see an arrow. The longer I do this, the stupider I feel. Can I break blocks? All the information is on. Why are we here? I don't like it here. Oh, wait, there's a giant fucking arrow. The arrow went this way. I'm not seeing a chest. Maybe there's like only one thing that lines up with its path. I wonder what that could be. It's over. I think it's over. What? It's probably over. I'm giving up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you, we barely even started. Alright, I'm gonna go follow the arrow. You just did that already. Why wasn't it just underwater? <laughs> Can you make my life easy for once? No. Amber, where is the potato? <laughs> In a chest. You've only opened one chest so far. I know! I'm trying to use my brain! Following. Following arrow. This one! That's a bread! That's food! Okay, I gotta get back to the campfire. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about breaking blocks. It took you this long to check the task? I told you it had the information ages ago. Okay, so I started, like, right here. Oh, underneath the arrow. Is the arrow a lie? Why are there so many chests over here? Another cod? I don't even know why I'm checking these. I know it's not these. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> you're gonna edit this and make me look so stupid and you're gonna laugh so hard about it and it's gonna be your fault. That will not be hard to do. Uh, unless I'm at, like, where I got the task. Oh my God, maybe it's into one of the trees? I, I checked underground, but I never checked above ground. Hey, you found the potato. I'm the block placing guy. Pretty sure the arrow was like about here. There's a chest over there. Look under where you started. The arrow was pointing to that clue. Uh, I started over here. I don't remember exactly where I started. It's like, it's like here. Look under. Okay, go where do you think you started? I guess it could be underneath like this area, you know? Like that's very possible. I don't. Hello! The potato! You found the potato. Thank you, Techna. An arrow's a sham and it should be fired. The arrow misleadingly. Okay, okay. I. Okay, okay. Maybe that one was my fault. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, listen, regardless how I do in this task, regardless how I do in the entire show, I'm taking a mint satisfaction. I'm the only one who understood what the hint <laughs> directly meant. Yeah, I, was <laughs> say, I think the women got a massive buff by never finding the arrow clue. Yes! <laughs> Kyogre, I mean... First of all, it was great to see you learn how to beatbox. Oh yeah, that was experience. That, that's he also, an experience. He also very quickly unlearned how to beatbox. I thought yeah. it was more funny if I just went, oh, so. I went, to his, <laughs> I went to his beatboxing performance and he just spat at me. <laughs> <laughs> You've invented a new thing, spitboxing. Uh, also, I definitely noticed that you were beginning to hate him. There was, <laughs> yes. there was, Definitely loathing happening. Hey, Amber, and this is something that I felt in some of my tasks. If you're fucking up, Amber will let you know. Amber yeah. will indicate it, that you are fucking up. <laughs> Feels like those two were the slowest. That feeling is correct. Techno, despite finding the two clues in the first two chests he looked in, had a total time of 9 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay, Kyoga. At the point where Cake and Sky just finished, Koga still didn't know if he could break blocks. <laughs> At the point where Raven finished, Koga was busy proving how bad he was at beatboxing. At the point where Techno finished, Koga had still not realized he could go up on the trees. Kyoga had a total time of 14 minutes and 21 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh... go! Koga spent more than 10% of his total time beatboxing badly. Yeah, the, uh, in that case, the little spitboxer who could will be getting one point. Two to Techno, three to Raven, four to Cake, and Sky wins the task with five points. I'm thriving today. I'm not. All right, in that case, what is next? Well, next up, we have a pretty interesting one that I won't need to spell out for you. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, do. Hey, Kek, how's it going? It's going good. I don't want to touch any of what's in here. Oh God. Okay. What the hell? Spelling. Oh, that, those are those are letters. 
spell out an interesting word using these letter blocks. You have 60 seconds. Your time starts now. Um, Feel free to place them wherever you want, as long as you spell out a real word. One of, one of each letter of the alphabet, okay. Yeah, 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 y
Aww, aren't you a little obedient Australian hole digger? <laughs> no. I'm gonna fucking never mutiny. Never say what those the words in that order again. <laughs> never say those words in that order. None of those words are in the Bible. The nature of this task makes me think that this one's going to get worse as it goes on. Uh -uh. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's not great that Techno thinks that, because next up is Techno with the bear and the small brown house. Um, this would be a lot easier if I was good at making things. Why do you have TNT? Techno. What? What the fuck? I'm redesigning, I'm redesigning the house. Where did the bear part come in? When the bear shows up. Oh god, you've lit it. <laughs> I've never seen a bear live in a house. <laughs> Alright, well this really isn't redesigned at all. Um... Yeah, now you've blown up parts of it. Where's the bear? <laughs> He's already in there. The only thing I can really think to add is a big bear. Uh, the issue being I don't know how to make a big bear. Bear. Is this the bear? Big bear. <laughs> this house just feels so much more natural now. And less house-like. Now, uh, what do I bring to a picnic? I'll probably bring a bear. Um, I think we can cover up a lot of your house still. Um, really uh -huh. bring back the life to it. Uh, if I just put a tree there. And all of a sudden it looks a lot better. I mean, you have a roof, you have a bear, I don't know what more you need. Bear pit. Alright, now we have bears in case you forget what they are. You kind of turned that into a river. Okay, you've agitated the bear pit. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! Well, I don't, don't have time to make it more natural, so I figure the least I can do... Bear with me. <laughs> You. All right, I'm done. Oh, you're done. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. Well, bye, Techno. Thank you for the redesign. I think. Yeah, no problem. There is a lot to unpack. Uh, I would argue that, regardless of the word that you would have written down, you were going to blow up that house. I wouldn't have had to blow up so much of it if I picked bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, here's another look at Techno's house thing. It's a giant work of art! Right? The, the giant T-posing The giant T-posing bear in the sky. That's um, how bears stand. I also, <laughs> I specifically wrote down possibly the most terrifying quote to ever hear. You've agitated the bear pit. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck do you do at that point? You you just start writing your will. Well, there's two people who have been silent as we do not actually know what word they put down. Yes, yeah, so do either of you remember this task? I, I wish I didn't. I forgot it until you showed me this task right in front of my eyes, and now I remember. So with the fact that you remember this task in mind, would you like to apologize in advance? Oh. No. <laughs> no. No, I won't apologize. Okay, let's get this over with. Here's them. And that's time. I, that's not a team. You have spelt the word. <laughs> we cast. Interessy. Interessy. That's interesting. Word. Okay. It's in... It's Interesting. It's like, it's really close to interesting. So you can't say that I'm wrong, technically. It's not a word. I have something oh. for you as well. What the heck? Redesigned a house. <laughs> you just spell With 30 minutes, your time starts now. My life is over and I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I got an idea. That's good. I'm really glad. I'm going to spell out the word interassy on the house. I have nothing else I can do. What's oi backwards? You owe. No, it's just you. It's not that. You know how worse we what would happen if you spelt the word wrong? Yes. Yeah, no, this is worse than that. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm switching the rooms around. This is no longer the dining room. This is the main entrance. And then we need a T, T for totally tubular, bro. Boy casts is really you cast. That explained absolutely nothing. I'm sad now. I don't know if you can tell, but I, I'm just desperate. <laughs> you were yo-yoing like a fucking motherfucker. What the hell's going on? I, I I don't understand what the issue is. You made up a word, and now you're no, in the, no. the living room with cakes. Boycast. Please stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> there are two more letters, Kyogre. Where are you going to put them? 
No, trust me. This is part of the glow. The, you, you think you think I haven't been taken into account with space? What do you think I am? We have five minutes. Please make this house look like something when it's done. It does look like something. <laughs> now, okay, I don't know about you, but this is the most interassy of all time. What's the definition of the word? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Okay, thank you, Cake. Enjoy the house. Okay. Yeah, bro, I gotta be honest with you. You're pretty interesting right now. Please you gotta be pretty you gotta be good. I gotta be honest with you. Get the fuck out of, out of, out of my house. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, a lot has just happened in the Task Monthly universe. Look, I took the word oikast and made it my own, okay? I think that house really embraced my outlook on the word oh, oikast. Oh, you did like a million times better than me. Everyone did oh a million God. times better than you, Kyogre. Yeah, I know! I'm aware! Thank you! I mean, I was a little speechless there. It's interesting and it's sassy. And I think that the only thing I could come up with is that I made the Y that way, not straight, because then it was a little bit more sassy. Koga spent eight minutes building and then a further three minutes complaining. Cake I mean... gave me an aneurysm in her 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely came out of that task feeling like I had a disease. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Cake. I'm with you. If there's anything I love about Cake, it's her complete confidence in being incorrect. <laughs> like, she's got the makings of a cult leader. Oi, backwards. Which also sounds like a setup to a Ligma joke. All right, do you want me to score these? Yeah, here's all five on screen at once. I've separated them into good and oh no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you're just a little bit biased, Amber, honestly. Like, you just seem to have this grudge against us, and it's kind of... Un I think you should both go to the Amazon and learn how to read and write. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that joke keep coming back? Why is it one of It's going to be one to Kyogre, obviously. I mean, Cake... You did embody Oikast. I'll give you that. So I really two, did. Two points. Three to Techno, and he should feel lucky for those three. Four to Raven, uh, and of course, five to Sky. Very impressive. Thank you. Five points Thank to Sky, you. she Thank wins you. the task. Here are the scores for this episode. Yeah. Sky's in the lead with 19, and Kyoga is languishing in the back with five. <laughs> All right, everybody, please get prepared to be teleported to the final task of the show. Oh, God. All right. Uh, Amber, who is reading out the live task? This task will be read out by Cake. Oh, yippee. Guess what number your teammate is cluing you towards. Take you to insurance. What? Contestants will approach the number board and pick an envelope containing a number. Then they must pick a single word that will clue their teammates towards their number. Your clue word may not be numerical in nature. Once you have given your clue, your opposing team will get to guess what they think the number is. If they are wrong, your team will get a guess. If both teams are wrong, you may give an additional clue. Whichever team has the most correct guesses after six rounds wins. So I want to quickly hammer into the guesses must not be numerical in nature. So words like first, if the number is one, or even if the number is 17. Yeah, like octopus for eight, that is the octopus, the, the word's a little too numerical. Okay, first to approach the number board, we have cake. Square. Okay, cake's word is square. Team of two, get the first guess. Okay, so the immediate obvious thing is four. I don't know, I feel like four is the bet because if we don't guess four, the other team is like almost certainly gonna guess four. Four. That is incorrect. The team of three will get a chance to guess now. Well, okay. what do we think it is? Because it's not There's... four. I don't know what else it could be. So um, I'm willing to go with eight though. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I'll go with eight too, yeah. That is also incorrect. Cake, you may give another word as a clue if you would like. My next word is T. Knowing that messed up little brain of hers, there's no way she literally means T as in the beverage. She just wants to give you the letter T and is using it as an excuse, right? The issue is that we're still dealing with square. Yeah, let's just answer 20 and move on. 20. Get the third hint. That is incorrect. 24? Raven? No, I it's think 40. it's 40. 40? Square has oh. four sides and then T. 
40. I hope it's is right. It, is it 40? I don't want them to guess that. That is correct. <laughs> no, wow. I was so smart. I hated I that. So smart. That's, I that's funny. You we're all gonna hate this. Oh my god. Next up, Kyoga. Let's go with fraction. I'll try 66 or 33. I like 66, honestly. Okay, 66, that is incorrect. 75. That is correct. Yes! Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God! I was literally thinking if he says fraction, I'm guessing 75 every time. Okay, next up we have Raven. Please approach the number ball. Square. Okay, we are back to square. <laughs> this again. No, this wow. again. <laughs> I'm going to guess. Four. You've chosen four? That is incorrect. Team of three. One. <laughs> that is incorrect. Back to Raven. Cat. Do you want to guess 49? Why? Because square and cat has nine lives. Sure. Why not? Guess 49. That is correct. <laughs> We're gonna count. Wow. Damn it. I hate that. Okay, Techno, please approach the number board. Uh, I'm just gonna say clock. Clock? Okay. Team of three, clock. I think it's gonna be either 12 or 24 seconds. I mean, I guess we could just try 12. It doesn't hurt. That is incorrect, Kyoga. Yeah. My gut instinct was 60. Let's go with 60. Okay, 60 is also incorrect. Back to tech now. Low. What if it's Not like lower, low. low. I mean, I don't hate nine as a number. I'm thinking either nine or three, so. You going with nine? Yeah. Nine is correct. Sky, please approach the board. <clears throat> Countdown. It's probably five or ten, and I feel like yeah. if he doesn't want us to guess it, then the easiest one to go to first is five. Yeah, I'm fine to just guess five. That is correct. All right. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, five. Man. Okay, Kyogre and Techno, one of you will go up again. Please choose now. Meedy, meedy, mighty, mo. Okay, you go. Okay. Cube. There's all of the multiples of four we could do. I like, I feel like 64 would be a number in Is here. Is four I think. cubed 64 or am I stupid? Let's yeah, just do 64. yeah. Let's knock it out of the way. Yeah. That is incorrect. Let's just guess eight for fun. That is incorrect. Back to Kyogre. Math. What if it's 27 because it's three cubed? I was thinking that. I think we need to cube a number. Yeah, I'm down with 20. I'm down with, yeah, 27. That is correct. Sorry, Techno. Yeah. Woo! I was never guessing 27 in my life. <laughs> let's let's head back to our seats and see how that's affected the final scores. <laughs> All right. Well, at the end of that, three points to both teams. So I think those will just correlate into three actual points. Three all around. Okay. Three points Yay! to both teams. Woo! You're all winners. It also means you're all losers. What has that done to our final scoreboard? Well, not much. Gogra is still at the back with eight, but in the lead is Sky with 22 points. Congratulations, Sky. Please oh, head up the stairs yeah. and enjoy celebrating with your Amazonian items. Yeah. yeah. So, what have we learned? Well, that's easy. We learned Oikast is you cast. <laughs> that's not all. Oikast is me cast. Oikast is us cast. That's right. <laughs> Oi cast is every cast. Oi cast is all cast. Congratulations to the sky on a worthy <laughs> win. And we'll see you all next time. Good night. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>